Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to defragment your hard drive. Check it out. Before we go on over to the computer and get this process started, this is a quick disclaimer. This is not intended for solid state drives. This is for hard drives only. Now that we're on over to the computer, what we're actually going to do is just like all of my other videos here, I am on Windows 10, so these instructions will be in Windows 10. But what we're going to do is we're going to go on down to the start menu and we're actually going to find the defrag by just typing the word defrag in the start menu. If you are on a Windows 7 or you are on Windows 8.1, the steps are going to be very similar. You can go down to the start menu and just type the word defrag and you're going to come up with an option. As you can see right here, this says defragment and optimize drives. Yours might be slightly different as far as wording. Go ahead and left click on that option. And you'll notice the new little window is gonna pop up on your screen. Now, if you notice on here, this gives all of the drives that are currently installed or um, being detected by your computer. You can see that right here where it says media type is a solid state drive, hard disk drive, hard disk drive, and then a solid state drive. Remember, in today's video, this is only designed for hard drives. This is not designed for solid state drives. We will be making another video that has to do with solid state drives. So in this case, hard drives only. So on here, on we're gonna look at storage here. Uh, I have my C drive, my D drive, and my E drive. C drive, of course, is my solid state drive. My D drive is my internal storage. And then my E drive, which is the my book, is my external storage device. So we're actually gonna click on the D drive. So what you can actually do is click on analyze and that will go through the hard drive and detect and let you know how much of that in percentage is fragmented or what kind of performance gains you're actually gonna do because that is the purpose of defragmenting your hard drive is to gather all of the fragmented files and it relocates them into the same place thus improving your actual uh, drive itself. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and click on the D drive. I'm just gonna click on analyze you may receive a pop-up that asks if you want to do this. Go ahead and click on yes. And then after you have done that, it will start the analyze process. Now on here, you can actually set up the defragmenter to go through and optimize your drives or defragment your drives on a set schedule. To do that, go on down to where it says scheduled optimization. Click on change settings. And you'll notice another little window is going to pop up. It says run as on schedule recommended. Uh, you can do it weekly, daily, or monthly, and then notify me if three consecutive scheduled runs are missed. So if you end up turning off the computer during that scheduled run, after you've done three of those, it's going to let you know, say, hey, we missed, some, we missed the ability to defragment your drive. And then, of course, you can click on choose, and this will allow you to select the drives that you actually want to go through and defragment. So like I said, defragmenting your hard drive is what goes through and takes all those fragmented files puts them in the same location and improving your drive speed. So once you have figured out which drive you actually want to go through and optimize, just left click on it and then click on optimize. What this is gonna do is it's gonna go through, scan the drive and then start defragmenting. This could take a few seconds as you just saw, it could take minutes, it could take hours, it could even take days or weeks, just depending on how old your computer is and the actual hardware specs of your computer. Most of the times it will probably take probably an hour, maybe two hours to actually go through and defragment the drive, again, depending on the specs of your computer and also the size of the drive. Uh, once you've got it finished out, uh, it'll let you know, it'll say 100% fragmented or 90% fragmented. It'll give you information once it's completed. Either way, once it's finished, you can go on and click on close and that will actually shut down the defragmenting software. Again, if you want to run this on a scheduled basis, go through, click on change settings and get that scheduled the way that you want. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure not to do this on solid state drives. This is meant for hard drives only, but if you know somebody that could use this information, give it a like, give it a share and leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.